hi folks in this uh, quick uh, video I'll be showing you how I went about uh, setting up uh, the scene so let me play this first so you'll see that uh, these objects are appearing and disappearing at various times okay <clears throat> I achieved this uh, by using uh, the animation of modifier properties as you can see uh, the real-time display and the render display of the modifier and also the invert property of the uh, modifier. I've used uh, a modifier called mask modifier. Okay, I'll show you how it works. All right, so hey, This is all possible because in blender 2.5 anything can be animated. Yeah so first off uh, let's see how the geometry is uh, built up so I have these uh, three objects cube 1, cube 2 and cube 3 now all of these objects okay, are sharing the same data okay, they are using the sh uh, same data and uh, let me uh, frame selected this view selected okay, and go into the edit mode so there are three vertex groups on this okay these vertex groups are further used in the uh, mass modifier as you can see here okay for the cube 1 cube 2 and cube 3 okay right middle and left vertex groups so i basically group them so that's the right vertex group and this is the middle vertex group and finally the left vertex group okay uh, so the I I did that first, and then uh, this object uh, has been linked duplicated. Okay, using uh, this link duplicated three times, right? After that, I had to set up uh, the modifiers. Okay, so I basically selected this object and added a mask modifier, and uh, so this modifier is only affected by the right vertex group okay similarly for cube 2 and cube 3 okay and I then had to animate uh, the properties okay so as you can see at frame number 1 uh, the modifier is not active okay it's uh, inactive that's why the value is zero here so if you see the real-time display real-time display of the mask modifier at frame number one it has value of zero okay so this modifier is not active from frame one to frame 24 at frame 25 okay frame 25 if you look at uh, cube one right okay uh, now uh, the real-time and the render properties are uh, animated okay and they have a value of 1 okay so uh, and then this is active okay basically that's how it works okay so basically I did the same thing for the other objects okay for cube 2 and uh, as well as cube 3 I just keyframed uh, the appropriate properties right now coming to the materials right now I have uh, three objects w uh, sharing the same data okay now if I attach the materials to the data then I cannot have different materials for each that's why I had to figure out how to go about it okay I was not that uh, sure about the material slots before but I think today I uh, understood uh, the concept of material slots so basically I have a I've added a you know materials okay that are connected to the object as you can see this is material slot 1 for cube 1 now this material slot 1 okay is connected to the object okay it itself not the mesh data okay now for this material slot I have assigned uh, this material okay and uh, how I did that um, I just selected uh, these vertices okay 
say I want to assign this blue material right so select uh, these vertices and select this slot and then assign okay so that's how uh, we assign uh, materials I'll be doing uh, another tutorial on uh, the material assignments in detail but uh, just to show you this is how it was done material slots attached to the object and not the object data okay that way I could uh, have nine different materials okay for these three objects okay so yeah that's pretty much about uh, this small experiment okay I've learned uh, about the material slots and also had a first uh, go at the mask modifier and also animating the modifier properties okay thank you